So here is the first example of what I mean by a branch coming away from the lifeline. Often that happens when the lifeline seems to be short. There is a connecting line to the fate line, which is also called the Saturn line or career line, the one that's running in the middle of the palm there vertically. That branch line, when it does touch the fate line, it acts as a transfer of energy. So that shows particularly change during that period. There will most likely be a significant event that happens during that time. It's nothing to worry about, however, because many times when this line branches to the fate line, the person himself or herself has made a decision in their life to make a change. So it's not necessarily a sudden change that was thrust upon them. They, they have consciously made the decision to make this change. In many cases, the person has become more career orientated. They've started focusing more on improving their finances and job prospects or even business prospects. Here we have different types of branch lines that come off the lifeline, starting with the first one at the start of the lifeline up the top, where a branch seems to be rising towards the index finger there and it's crossing the headline. That is a sign of something ambitious happened at that particular time in their life. The person may have finished their study, they may have successfully received their diploma or any event which made them feel like they have achieved something. And it's called the line of ambition. It can be much longer than that and it can rise from various parts of the lifeline. Usually, however, it rises from the beginning section of the lifeline around about the age of say 21 or approximate age that the person might have finished their study or successfully um, began a new um, ambitious sort of uh, project. So overall rising lines such as that are good indicators. Where the line is drooping, that is not so good, although it depends on which side of the line it is. On the inside of the line, that can depict a loss or unhappiness, a period that may have caused the person uh, to feel like they have had a loss, whether it was an actual physical loss or not. If the drooping line is on the outside of the lifeline pointing towards the Mount of Moon, such as that lower one there in the image, that usually means travel and change, much like the first picture we looked at. And here we have the crossing lines, sometimes called crossbars or worry lines. The worry lines usually start at the ball of thumb and they're quite normal to have. They uh, sometimes called domestic worry lines, so they are just general worry lines. It's only once they cross the lifeline, as they do here, and reach other lines is when they become more of a concern. For instance, if it reaches the headline, it may be a stress that has caused you to be mentally disturbed by the issue. And if it reaches the heart line, it may be stress due to an emotional concern, such as a relationship breaking down. When the crossbars are short and they tend to cut across the lifeline without actually making a break in the lifeline, they show obstacles 
or interferences in their life. They are usually temporary. For instance, um, say if you were out of work for a while and you're looking for the job and it may seem like you can't find the job, there may be a crossbar on your lifeline to show that there's a delay in your progress. I've quickly mentioned a dot here in this image because a dot can show something happens suddenly, uh, shock, trauma or even sudden illness. But that depends on where it is and we have to look for other clues on other lines. We'll talk about that particular dot uh, some other time. Time, bye.